I think we all, pretty much all plastic addicts, we are addicted to this wonderful grab-and-go material. And we now found out what this material is doing, so we have to start thinking about how our addiction is, what we're doing with our addiction, and how we are misusing this wonderful, fantastic, toxic material. So, there's been a lot of talk uh, about, especially in the UK, how great we are putting a 10p, 5p plastic uh, tax on our bag. But this is what we are doing. We're using, you know, two million a minute. I mean, I, how much have we been using while we've been sitting here? And this one is quite controversial because, you know, this clicker has just been designed to be used. It's maybe not single-use, it's been used a few times, this, but there's, in the design, there's no thought about what's going to happen to it afterwards. Um, and then in the year of the Blue Planet, where we all woke up, whoa, what's happening to us? What are we doing? Coca-Cola pumped out their usual 110 billion, and they just popped up another billion in there, because why not? And we know now it's in the beginning of our food chain. And we know now it's in our bodies. And unfortunately, this is where we are. So, this is not a drill. This is what we do every day. This is, I'm sorry, this is a bit offensive, but this is what I feel every day when I walk into my supermarket and I see that sea of plastic. Because it's everywhere. You go on a plane, you pop into a corner shop, this grab a go mentality we're all living. And plastic reduction is forecast to go fivefold by 2050. It's currently 8% of oil production, and it's forecast to rise 20%. So, what are we going to do? We, Sean and myself, founded a Plastic Planet three years ago. It's not a normal kind of organization. It's kind of a global movement. And I'm not your typical eco-warrior. I like stretch. I like fashion. I like, I'm a con probably a, a big consumer. But we decided to let's make change happen. So. Where are we going to make change happen fastest? It's here. Because we realize that the 40% of all the plastic we used, or we use, is in food and drink. So, one afternoon, in a print shop, a plastic planet was born. And we found out and thought, what's going to be our first thing? Was to dramatically reduce plastic used in drink and food. So, it all starts with choice. And this choice got to start where we, the shoppers, can make our choice, because with choice come change. So, our first campaign was going to be a plastic-free aisle. And after a couple of months picking up the phone, saying, do you know a supermarket boss who wants a plastic-free aisle? Maria, from Plastic Suit Foundation, rang us and said, I've got the man for you. It's here in Amsterdam. You can start a plastic-free aisle with Eric Doze and Eco Plaza. So this was our first um, campaign. It was launched in the 28th of February on a very cold day in Amsterdam. And um, it went boom. 25 interviews, ongoing, still today, because this is what people had hoped for. Somewhere where you could shop guilt-free, and at last somebody saying, if you want to, if you, this is, this, this can happen today, not 2020. Um, so here's a little film about what we've been up to since. We have 
The simple goal to ignite and inspire the world to turn off the plastic tap. So it is very hard if you want to change your habits and you go to the supermarket and you push your trolley and you're trying to put your meat and your fish and your weekly groceries in and everything is wrapped in plastic. So you end up taking this shed load of plastic home, you put it in your bin, you have no idea if it's actually going to be recycled properly. So our campaign is super simple. We want supermarkets to create a plastic-free aisle. The Prime Minister has urged supermarkets to introduce those aisles where shoppers can buy products with no plastic packaging. Supermarkets also need to do much more to cut down on unnecessary plastic package packaging. So we will work with them. The Plastic Free Trust Mark cuts through the confusion of symbols and labels and tells you just one thing. This package is plastic free. You can now buy wheat free, gluten free, fat free, all of these things, but you can't buy plastic free. It's more than a mark. It's a symbol. It's a revolution for choice. Finally, shoppers can be part of the solution. One plastic free day is just one day. It's the one day a year, just 24 hours, where you think twice before you reach for that plastic wrap sandwich, that drink with a straw, that plastic bottle of water. My name is Sean. My name is Federico. My name is Lynn. My name is John. My name is 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 And I'm a plastic addict, but I am ready for change. So let's turn off the plastic tap together. We have way more power than we think. So, the old ways of consumer is gone. Take, make, use and waste. We have to change that. Um, so how are we going to change this? This is really one of the important things. Of course, we need government. Come on, government. We need to ignite business within. Um, we need to open source where people can find. If you want to change out of plastic, how do you find this new material? Or how do you maybe get rid of it? What do you replace with it? So we are actually launching tomorrow our first resource library. It's going to be open source, where you, it's the first beginning of trying to find what else can you use. Um, we can need to give consumers choice. We buy what we are sold. And we need to elevate sustainability. It's not, you don't have to be a hippie to buy plastic free. It's, that should be the way we want to live. Um, so we have done this experiment in London. So after doing our Amsterdam, we realized we had to do something a bit closer to home. And we worked, we got a, um, a sort of a budget. A budget is sort of um, mid sort of consumer supermarket. And we started to cut out plastic. And we are continuing helping them to delist, get new products in, get rid of their plastic. And it wasn't easy at the beginning. Okay, we've had one person to live in the supermarket and help them. And it wasn't the first way of changing the 300 cheeses, get you know, the first materials you found, was not, you know, the consumers didn't like it. It's working with consumers, with the supermarkets, like a living lab. So, um, earlier this year we launched this plastic free, and this is definitely not plastic free. I've been breathing it all day nearly, and I'm feeling all the microfibers are going down my lungs. Um, but we got this plastic-free mark because we believe that consumers need to know when you're going quickly down that aisle, that is plastic-free. Not turn it around and see what recycled bin it's going to be. Um, I don't want to be called a consumer. I want to be a citizen. I want to be... I want to belong, I want to contribute to not to be part of the problem, to be part of the solution. So, this is not the question. What are we going to swap the next coffee cup on? The question is, 
how are we going to live? And how are we going to live in this way of plastic coming into our lives and keeping plastic out of our lives and our children's lives and our homes? I want a choice, and I want a choice for all of us. Thank you.